Here we go. So I'm going to show you the process of doing a binary division. Now the first thing I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with uh, 25 divided by 5. Now I've got two decimal numbers so obviously the first step that I have to do is I have to convert those two numbers to their binary equivalents. So I'll take 25 first and I'll work out its binary equivalent. So I start from the right hand side, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and I won't go past 16 because 32 uh, won't fit into 25. So I take 16, that will fit into 25, so I'll put a 1 there, and the remainder that I have is 9. So once 16 has gone into 25, I have 9 left. So my next step then is to work out what will go into 9. 8 will go into 9, and that gives me one remainder. So 4 can't go into 1, 2 can't go into 1, but 1 will go into 1, which gives me uh, 0 remainder. And that there, that sequence of binary numbers, is the equivalent of 25. My next step is that I have to find the binary equivalent of 5. So 5 is equal to, so obviously 16 no, 8 no. 4 will go into 5, that leaves me 1 remainder, so no to the 2 and the 1 on the 1 there, and that equals the binary equivalent of 5. So I cross out those zeros to the left because they're insignificant, and I have my two binary equivalents for my numbers. Now, my third step is to start my division. So I have 1, 0, 1 divided by... 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. So 25 divided by 5 in its binary form. First step is to take the 5 and to see whether it will fit into the first bit of this number. So 1 bit is equal to 1. So does 5 go into 1? No, it doesn't. So I write a 0 above that first uh Bit that I've used. Now I grab a bit of help, I grab two bits. So one and one in binary, in decimal equivalent, is three. So does five go into three? No, it doesn't, so I write a zero there. And now I grab a third bit. So the decimal equivalent of these three bits here is equivalent to six. So I say does five go into six? Yes, it does. Now this starts the next process. Using this one here, or whenever you do get a one up the top here, you need to times that by this number. We know that um, that one times that will equal the same number. So one times one zero one equals one zero oh one. And the process for, um, so if I write that there, the process for binary division is that I subtract this number from that number. Now, we know that in binary you can't subtract, so this then poses a problem. So what we have to do is we have to take the second number, which is this here, and turn it into its complement. Now, once this second number is in its complement, then we can add the two numbers together, which is the same process as subtracting. So with my 101, here it is here, I perform 1's complement on it, which is just flipping the bits. So 0, 1, and 0. Then my next step is to add 1, which is 2's complement. So 1 plus 0 equals 1, and 1 plus 0 equals 1, and 0 plus 0 equals 0. So therefore, there is my number, which is now uh, it's to, uh, the, the, the complement of 5, and that's the number there. So I need to now replace this number here with its complement. Now, instead of subtracting, I can add them together, but I am actually doing the same process of subtraction. One of the other keys as well is I've only taken three um, columns, so I only work within three columns. These two numbers here I haven't used yet, so I don't use them in my addition. So 0 plus 1 equals 1. 
1 plus 1 equals 0, carry the 1. 1 and 1 equals 0, carry the 1. Now because I have only used three columns, this one here then therefore becomes outside the range, so it's insignificant. So I'm left with the decimal equivalent of 1. Now, this is where some students fall into some problems. Where to go next? So step 5 is dictated by how many rows I've got left that I haven't, uh, sorry, columns that I've got left that I haven't processed. So I've obviously got two, so my process will start again. But instead of looking at this number, this is my new number here that I'm going to work with. So I need to say, does, does five go into one? No, it doesn't. So therefore I need to get some help. So I'm going to drag down this zero. Now the decimal equivalent of this number sequence is two. So does five go into two? No, it doesn't. So as I've done there before, I place a zero up the top and I continue the process. So obviously I need some help, so I've got to drag down this one here. Now I have a decimal equivalent of five and does five go into five? Yes, it does. So I need to put my one here and continue my process as before. So one times that, as can be seen over here, equals the same number, but I have to subtract them. So I can't use um, this number here. I need to use its actual uh, binary complement using two's complement. So I write this number in instead. So one, one, and zero. Now I can add them together. So one and one equals zero, carry the one. One and one equals zero, carry the the one, one and one equals zero, carry the one. Now, this bottom number was only working in three columns, so that one there becomes insignificant, it is not used. Step six is I can't go any further. I've got no more columns to grab, and the number that I'm left with is at zero. So therefore, the answer to my question is, I take this number here, which is my whole number, one, zero, one, and my remainder is this number here, which is zero. So my answer is five remainder zero. And as we can look at the top here, we know that 25 divided by five equals five.